we're gonna be making the Zenten ski just slow motion effect. Yo what's up it's your boy Ambitious Kid and guys last time a big fan of mine asked me if I could do the Zenten ski just slow motion effect on Castic 3 which I'm going to be showing you guys right now how to do this cool ski effect guys plus guys the good news is that I'm going to be giving away this hot Zenten project file to you guys for free yes guys absolutely for free but guys before you download this hot Zenten project file make sure that you subscribe and watch this video carefully because because in this video i'm going to be giving you guys the unlock password for this hot sentence project file okay guys let's get right into this hot video okay guys so this is the hot sentence beat that we're gonna be working on it sounds like this which is really fire guys which is really fire so let me quickly show you guys on how to do the zenten slow motion skija effect so we're gonna start doing our slow motion skija effect right here guys so what i'm gonna start by doing guys to make the slow motion skija effect is that where it shows numbers 38 39 40 41 and recurring i'm gonna press where it's on 40 for more than two seconds and then what's going to happen is that it's going to show me these options, these two options here, which says insert measures and set tempo key. What I'm going to do is press set tempo key. And then here it says 102, which maybe let's say it's 105. I'm going to take it to 102 based on where you put it on your beat. And then I'm going to set it to 102. And then once you're done, you're going to say set, guys. So that's the first step. And then what we're going to do now, guys, is that we're gonna start packing our beat like this let's hear that guys and then let's take some of this just like that let's take some of those and then put them there and let's see how it sounds like Okay guys and then I'm going to press time and then I'm going to click where I want to select everything. So what this time button does is that it selects things in a row guys. If you want to select things in a row that's the quickest way to use the time button guys. And then what I'm going to do guys is press these three selected, these three lines down here and then I'm going to say snap patterns to measures enable that button and then i'm gonna go back and then what i'm gonna do guys is that i'm gonna press this top thing that ch changes my instruments and then i'm gonna lower it like this so i can make a cool style and then what i'm gonna do is that once i'm done doing that i'm gonna press these three lines press snap patterns to measures again so it can highlight it and then go back guys and then what's gonna happen is this guys it's gonna cut my instrument as you can see and then we can carry on packing the beat guys making sure it's nice and hot guys so let's do this this time adding more instruments so it's gonna sound like this let's hear that And then guys, what we're going to do to add our final hot touch is that we're going to click on the numbers again. I'm going to click on here where it's where my beat ends and then I'm going to click it for more than two seconds so that this thing can show up these options. I'm going to say set tempo key and then guys, I'm going to press minus so that it can lower my tempo key. I'm going to choose the lowest tempo key that I can find. Let's go to our, let's go to 80 because it's going to be really slow on 80 guys and then i'm going to say set so this is how it will sound like guys let me put it on 112 and let's hear how that will sound like guys as you can hear it super hot guys super hot and then guys what we're gonna do now is to make it more harder guys by making it to come back and then hit harder guys so what i'm gonna do is continue packing this hot beat like this 
we're gonna continue this just like this i'm gonna make sure i add two more bars just like that let's do that guys let's do that and then what i'm gonna do guys is that i'm gonna click again here on the numbers again on the numbers graph again for more than two seconds i'm gonna click set tempo key this time i'm gonna take it back to 102 112 i mean guys because we want it to go slow and then after going slow it should come back and hit hard again guys like the armor piano effect that they actually do in fo studio 20 we're gonna be doing it exactly on Castic 3 guys so we're gonna say set and then what's gonna happen guys is that we're gonna press this time thing again and then we're gonna use it to select this part of the beat and then we're gonna press this x in a page showing thing up there on the top left corner and then we're gonna say copy and then we're gonna paste it there guys and then we are done just like that guys and then this is how our second piece will sound like it's gonna start catching speed going faster and faster just like that guys and then right now i'm quickly gonna show you guys what we made in a whole guys i'm gonna put it on 102 then i'm gonna start playing it for you guys damn guys as you can hear it catching speed this is so dope guys This was a fire tutorial guys this was a very hot tutorial that i made with you guys right now guys make sure to leave a comment on which video i should make next guys don't forget to subscribe and like this video too guys but guys don't forget to leave a comment so that i can know which video i should make for you guys next up guys thank you so much see you guys on the next one